So when I started my business, there was one thing that I knew. If I could build an audience of people who absolutely loved what I was doing and found value in it, then I knew I could make it a success. So literally for the first 18 months to two years, my focus was on building my email list and growing a following on social media. I have since built an email list of over 150,000 subscribers, which has completely changed my business. So in this episode, I am going to share with you the best converting lead magnets that we have used to grow this list and how exactly we have marketed them to get results. I am so excited to take you behind the scenes and share this stuff with you. So definitely stay tuned. Hey, it's Carrie here and I am so excited to take you behind the scenes and share with you our best converting lead magnets. So these are the things we've used which have enabled us to build our email list. While we now have over 150,000 email subscribers, I started out like everyone else at zero, which is frustrating. Um, so firstly, let me just give you a quick overview of how my list has grown. So here are the numbers for you. So when I started my email list, within the first eight months, it grew to 426 subscribers. By the end of the first year, I had 811 subscribers. So during this time, I wasn't really doing that much to promote it. I had no freebies because I, they just overwhelmed me. Um, I literally just had a really simple call to action on the website to get people to sign up for a weekly dose of inspiration. That was literally it. By month 13, I hit 1,000 subscribers. And then within three months of that, I hit 2,000 subscribers. And around that time, what I'd started to do was um, promote a free magazine that I had coming up. So I was basically saying to people, get on the email list to be the first to be notified when the magazine is published. So then within another eight months of that, I hit 5,000 email subscribers. So basically every month we were releasing a new issue of our free magazine and people could become an email subscriber to get notified of when the next issue came out. So that really helped boost our subscribers. Then within three months of that, we hit 13,000 subscribers. And this was because I put together my first ever freebie. And once I realized the power of it, I quickly created another one. I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> a few months later, we hit 20,000 email subscribers. And since then, it has grown to over 150,000 email subscribers. And in fact, last year, we actually did a big cleanup and we removed 75,000 people from our email list. So that's the numbers overview for you. But I know how it feels to be starting at zero. I know how slow that growth can be, especially in the beginning. But I also know what it takes to actually build a successful email list. And I know that every single one of us can do this. You know, having an email list creates so much more visibility for your business. It means that every week you get to get yourself in front of your audience, share valuable content with them and start a conversation. And yes, I know that we can all do this through social media too, but you own your email list. And there's also something really powerful about someone deciding to opt into your list and allowing you to show up in their inbox. That is special. So I want to share with you the best types of lead magnets that have helped me to grow my email list over the years and also how I've promoted them. So firstly, let's talk all about the lead magnets. So the number one lead magnet that's generated the most amount of leads for us over the years is literally having simple freebies. So specifically for me, the freebie that's worked the best has been having workbook challenges. My first one that I created was actually called Mission for March. It was a workbook to help you achieve something really big and make massive progress within a month. And basically it was simple. The workbook guided people through a series of really simple questions. I left space in the workbook for people to be able to write out their answers and just help them to get clarity around making a plan of action. Another one that we have, which has been really, really popular, so over 22,000 people have downloaded it, it's called our Miracle Month Planner. And this workbook is all about helping people who've lost their motivation for building their business. And it's about getting their spark back. It's about getting them to immerse themselves in changing their frame of mind with simple but really specific actions to take. I wanna quickly break down for you um, the best way to create freebies. So the first tip is this. It needs to get people a specific result. You know, once people have consumed your freebie, what impact will it have had on them? How will they feel? What is the result or the transformation your freebie is gonna get for them? 
Your freebie has to have such a clear transformation for your audience and this transformation needs to be relevant for your audience. So it has to align in some way with helping them overcome their challenges and moving them towards their desires based on what aligns with your business. So that's the first tip. The second tip is that it needs to be simple. Like people often feel like giving value means a hundred page workbook. It absolutely does not. If I told you I could teach you how to get an email list of 10,000 subscribers in an hour long video, or I could show you the formula on a single piece of paper, which option would you choose? The latter, like everyone would, because who's got time to watch an hour long video? So with a freebie, you want to get people a quick win so they see the value really, really, really fast. And then they think, bloody hell, <laughs> that was so good. I wonder how else you can help me. So just keep it really, really short and sweet. The next tip is to make it insanely valuable. And remember, this doesn't actually mean making it overly complicated and way too long. It means fire your big guns first, as a mentor of mine always used to say. So basically make sure this freebie packs a punch. You want to get people a result. If you create a crappy freebie, they will not want anything else from you ever again. So don't be afraid to give your best in your freebies. People need to see what you've got for them. So make them fall in love with you. This can be as valuable as your paid content. This can even be part of your paid content. Do not be afraid to go there. I promise it will really help you. So those are some tips for you on how to create an amazing freebie. The second type of lead magnet that has worked really, really well for us has actually been a quiz. So our quiz has actually generated over 51,000 email subscribers for us. People love a good quiz and they work so well for so many types of businesses, you know, product-based businesses, service-based businesses, coaching-based businesses. So basically all you need to do is get really creative with coming up with a quiz idea that would work well for your audience and something that would also be really useful for them. So for example, my quiz is, will you build a wildly successful business? Take our free quiz and we'll build out an action plan to get you to where you want. So basically they answer a series of questions which determines what level of business they're at. And then based on their results, they get taken to an action plan that is totally aligned with where they're at. And we give them the links and resources that we think are gonna help them so much. I've seen people run quizzes for skincare products, quizzes to help people figure out what product or service would be the best fit for them. But usually a quiz is about helping someone to identify something about themselves, like where they're at in their business or what product best suits them or a personality test. People love personality tests. Um, people get intrigued to know like what are the results gonna be for me? And so they wanna take the quiz. So as long as you make the quiz good and the results really amazing and valuable for your audience, then you're really onto a winner. Quizzes are also really powerful because it means that you get to segment your audience. You get to give them an offer based on the segment they land in. And that is really powerful in itself. So if you want to learn more about quizzes, I think you should, <laughs> um, then definitely check out a book called The Ask Method by Ryan Levesque. He is so amazing when it comes to quizzes. I also use his quiz platform. It's called Bucket.io, but I will leave all the links to this stuff in the show notes for you so you can check it all out. Okay, so that is quizzes for you. The last type of lead magnet that I wanna share with you before I get on to how you actually promote them are giveaways. So we've actually not done any giveaways recently, but we are gearing up to do some really big ones this year. So in the past, we have done giveaways and they have generated so many new emails for us. There's something that works well for most types of businesses. And basically what you need to do is come up with an amazing giveaway. So something that's truly valuable and something that your audience would absolutely love and then you just need to begin promoting it like crazy you can use tools like king sumo giveaway that's the tool that i've used before um, and that is a, a platform you can use to actually run it so basically people come they enter their name and email address and then they're encouraged to share it with others and the more people who enter through their link the more entries they actually get for themselves so this is something that helps it to spread fast so we once did a quiz where people could win lifetime access to our members club and we got over 5,000 people entering, which is so powerful. So like I said, I know I've mentioned loads of different tools and links and stuff, so make sure you check out the show notes so that you can access it all. So at this point, you might actually be wondering, well, great, but how do I actually promote these things and 
get people signing up? Well, in the beginning, it's probably going to be quite slow, and especially if you're new to all of this. But what you can do is just share it. Share it anywhere you can. Share it on your website. Put it on a banner on your website. Put it in the sidebar on your website. Use a pop-up on your website. You need to share it a lot across social media. Share it in any groups that you're part of where you're actually allowed to share the stuff that you've got going on. You could also test out running ads on Instagram and Facebook. And you can keep budgets to as small as like $5 a day just to see what results you can get and then start building on it. You know, ads are actually a really, really powerful way to grow your list faster. So when we promoted our Miracle Month freebie, the ad we ran converted so well for it. And all it said is this, if you're feeling like you've lost your motivation and you're drifting aimlessly, then this free Miracle Month Planet is for you. Join us for a 30-day challenge and get re-inspired, reconnected with your dreams and back in the flow of business. Click below to sign up. That was it. That's all it said. Ads can be simple, um, but they can be really, really powerful when done right. So it's definitely worth checking it out and playing around with it and seeing how much of an impact it could have when building your own email list. But all that said, list building is really about creating a buzz around your business and putting content out there that is so compelling. People want to be part of your business. They want to become your subscriber. They want to hear from you. And it starts small by showing up online and offline and letting people know that you are here and you're doing something amazing and you have so much value to add. You need to network like a crazy person, to connect with like-minded people, to build your relationships. You need to be producing amazing content so people start seeing what you have to offer on a consistent basis. You know, from pictures of products that you might have to video tips or a podcast or just even written tips and advice and stories, anything that you feel is gonna be compelling for your audience. When you do that and you show up with a clear purpose and so much value to add, people will want to be part of what it is that you're creating and then it becomes about giving them an offer that they really can't say no to and slowly but surely they will tell people and those people will tell people and those people will tell people and then over time more and more people will come to know you and love you and your email list will grow and grow and grow provided that you stay consistent with this. You know, there is no magic bullet. I wish there was, but there's not. But with a disciplined approach, just like me, you can build an email list of hundreds of thousands of people. And just think, if you do that, what impact that's gonna have on your business and also on the people that then you're able to serve. It's phenomenal. You know, what is possible is incredible. But what we have to do is take it one tiny little step at a time and just keep going. So there you have it. Those are my top lead magnets. Those are the lead magnets that work the best for me. The marketing strategies are what have worked best for me as well. And you know, we can all do this stuff. It is simple and there's no secrets to it. It's just kind of staying disciplined and getting on with it. I've got so much help in store if you want it. I've got so many other resources and videos all around list building. So I'm gonna list all of them out on the website for you. We also have list building masterclasses. So if you are ready to take this to another level, I will list out those masterclasses too so you can come and access those. Check them all out on the website, femaleentrepreneurassociation.com forward slash list building. But if you have enjoyed watching this video, then definitely hit subscribe, like and comment. If you have any questions on, for me on this whatsoever, I would love to answer them for you. So definitely ask away and I will see you next time.